summertime offers so many fresh produce and Nick Manoilovich from Weekend at the Cottage is back with us. We love when he comes on the show because he makes the best stuff. So nice to see you, Nick. Oh, you're, you're already eating. <laughs> <laughs> We're you know working me. backwards, are we? <laughs> well, I just couldn't resist as I patiently wait to share these wonderful ideas for okay. our, our summer at the Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So you're, you're starting your, your day with ice cream, are you? <laughs> yeah, but let me backtrack a little bit. Okay. I want to start, first of all, with a shout out to what I think is one of the most perfect fruits this time of year, which is peaches. Mm -hmm. In this neck of the woods, we all know how wonderful they are. We've put them to good use today, and I want to share some ideas with you. All right, let's get started. Uh, number one, let's start with a really quick and easy appetizer. Um, and I love this because it is so easy. We're starting off uh, to make this appetizer by taking peaches. Mm -hmm. We're going to take our peaches, give them a quick wash, and then a sharp knife to cut them into little tiny sections. They then go on to the grill. And we're going to give them a quick grill. I love those grill marks on Me the peaches. Uh, so perfect. Um, and it takes about a minute to grill the peaches off. Next, we're taking... Um, uh, little bits of Belgian endive. Uh, when you're cutting your peaches onto a hot grill, you know, it's a one, two, three thing. When they come off, you can just set them to the side. Next ingredient is Belgian endive. We're gonna take the little spears, cut them into wedges, and then prosciutto. So a very thin cut Italian ham. We're gonna wrap that right around the bottom of the endive. Mm -hmm. uh, and then a, the only tough thing in this recipe is putting cream cheese into a, a, a oh, pipe yes. bag. Add a little rosette, a cream cheese, salt, pepper. Uh, we're gonna finish by tucking in oh. those peaches and then a little bit of fresh herb at the end. Instant party app. Um, but let me just do the caveat, fair warning, they disappear very quickly <laughs> when you serve them <laughs> to I those can imagine. you love. Well, you know I, what, what a great I, flavor profile, right? Like what a nice totally. combination, yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally, and people really do love them. I bet, now again, grilled peaches, you can have them sweet or savory, as as we right. know. So that's the. I just love grilling peaches. I think it's the best. It's such an easy thing to do, and it changes everything. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, another nice thing that I like right now this time of year is to make homemade ice cream. Mm -hmm. uh, and whether you're using an attachment that goes into an existing appliance or you're purchasing an ice cream maker, the recipe itself is surprisingly simple. Okay. Again, back to the fresh peaches. We're going to give them a wash, cut them and then chop them up into, uh, you know, about a dice, dicing them into a nice chunky size. This ice cream is flavor forward. I'm gonna chop up some fresh ginger, peaches, mm. sugar, and then brown sugar. Brown sugar loves peaches, a little bit of ginger, some kosher salt, and then lemon juice. Cook it off. Oh. We're gonna chill it, zip it up very quickly. Uh, then you add it to cream and milk into your uh, ice cream maker, churn it up, and then about 20 minutes later, you have a gorgeous peach ginger ice cream, homemade. And that's what you were um, eating. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I, yes, that's I don't what I blame eating. you. And also what I think, uh, you know, kids, everybody enjoys so much this time of year. It is. And you know what? It's, I think what's so great about peaches as well is that often we buy large baskets and then we can't get through them fast enough. So making ice cream, using them for different, you know, different types of recipes, we can use them all up and not let any go to waste. All right. You have yes, another one for us, right? We have lots of different recipes on Weekend at the Cottage. I just sure. want to mention, to your point, when you have so many peaches, uh, the possibilities are endless. Again, sweet and savory works. Mm -hmm. I love using these for a peach ginger pie, uh, which is yes. really easy. And our pie tutorials at Weekend at the Cottage are wonderful. Mm -hmm. We also use the peaches for peach cobbler. You can put them to good use with um, uh, all kinds of delicious recipes and in no time you'll be serving up something delicious. And that's the thing, you know, I was saying uh, yesterday as well, tomatoes are one of those things this time of year where they're just at their best, right? And they don't taste like, like they taste in August, any other time of year, right? Exactly. So we must enjoy our peaches and our tomatoes and make the best of them and be creative with recipes. And I know people can log onto your social media, you, onto your website and find, as you say, all kinds of wonderful recipes. And head to Instagram in particular and check mm -hmm. out our little post yesterday regarding okay knives it'll all be revealed when you look at us on instagram uh okay yeah you guys have great tips and great recipes so much thank fun you. to do thank you so much nick manoilovich again happy from summer. the weekend at the cottage happy summer to you too that's I'm it for now you better <laughs> it's melting